So, um, there we have our first quest, and the quest log wants to be opened, but I won't do it. Um, so, here we have Alchemist Aurelia. What do you want from old Aurelia? Who has a very nice voice, I think. Um, and I uh, would like to see who has. Um, also, as I just talked about her voice, um, you might have noticed uh, that uh, people only seem to say something the first time they say anything. And yes, that's the whole game along. Um, interestingly enough, if uh, the character changes in between, uh, so you have a conversation with, say, two other people, then the first time the person says something, his voice is done, then when he changes to the next person, that one gets a voice uh, for the first one, and if it's ever changed back again to the first person, then that one gets uh, an audio line too, um, again. But every uh, line after that is without uh, voice acting. Quite interesting and weird. Um, so here we have... oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to buy actually. Um, do you have wound powder? Uh, oh, wound powder. And two only. Um, could be better, but uh, at least it's cheap. Um, wound powder will allow us to um, regenerate health more quickly in, uh, for a minute. Um, here we have cells of healing, which uh, oh yeah, they are only um, they are basically tools that help us with our treat wound checks, um, which isn't that good, and it's not worth that much money actually. Um, here we could have we could buy some recipes for alchemy, but uh, we have no idea how to use that, so no, we will just take the wound powder. Thank you. Mm. And ah, there you are. Oops. Bento, stay still. Greetings. I wish you a pleasant day. May I be of service to you? He's older than he looks. Um, greetings. I wish you a pleasant day. May I be of service to you? Um, I would like to buy something. Um, he's a traveling merchant uh, with uh, many things stuffed up his back. Um, mostly clothing, but also a few bandages, which are interesting. A whetstone, which I will buy. Which will. Uh, ah! I'm not sure if we can use that yet. Um, I think you need a bit of smithing, but uh, I might be wrong. Um, and here we have uh, simple bandages, uh, which uh, I will buy a few more of. They are also basically tools for healing, but much cheaper. Um, and here we could buy some hairpins or some soap, uh, gloves, uh, leather jackets. Um, and yes, we will actually have to use soap at one point. Um, <laughs> uh, and here we have arrows and bolts. Of course, we would never buy bolts because uh, crossbows are unrondriatic. Um, we can't allow everyone to be able to defeat any, just about anyone, regardless of their training. Um, and bows we only accept so far. Uh, I'm not quite sure which one it would be, but uh, maybe it's human nature or streetwise. If we had that uh, talent higher, uh, then this whole region would pop up with... Um, with uh, little signs, uh, with um, uh, signs telling us uh, that we can talk to certain people. Um, so we have to check everyone, and most of these uh, will actually have nothing to say to us. Uh, no. Here we would have some, uh, 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 let's say, uh, herbs we could uh, harvest if we had any talent for that. 
but uh, so far we only look for Runkle. Um, oh! Ah, uh, no. Wrong type of character. <laughs> we wouldn't just go to anyone's chest, would we? Um, except, of course, maybe... Well... Here we have a shrine to Arvis, as I said, the god of travelers. I think, at least. And a devotee to Perrine, which is um, the uh, god of healing and uh, harvest. Uh, let's talk to them, uh, to him. What can I do for you? I would like to see what you have to offer. Uh, wound powder and bandages. Everything I would expect of him. Um, what can I do for you? And I would like to know what you can teach me. Uh, he could teach me how to treat w uh, poisons, but uh, we would need uh, leveling points for that. Sucker. And here we would have a chest which we could open if we were such a person. Oh, can you read that? Actually? Ah, almost. Uh, if my hat feather waves, it means the feeling braves protected. I'm, I'm feeling brave, protected by Arvis. So it's the Arvis Shrine. <clears throat> I never noticed that you could read that, actually. Um, okay. I like her voice already. For well, now, let's talk to her. Oh, but she won't. Ah, uh, old wrench. Won't talk to, m to me, just at me. Where can I find this bear cave? Sorry, I don't think the dark forest is the right place for a young lady to go wandering about in on her own. Doesn't she see she's a ma an Are mason? I like her. Well, that shut you up, didn't it? Never mind. By Rondra, what now? I couldn't tell, but overhear your conversation with the innkeeper. Perhaps I can help you. Help me? Ha <laughs> ha! A daughter of Kirkham never needs helping, and you don't forget that. I thought you might someone to help you find a bear. Ha! I'm just getting bored of waiting for permission to continue on to further. When I heard that a wild bear had been attacking the villages, I thought that might pass something of a challenge, and a nice way to pass the time. Well, if you're that bored, perhaps you would like to accompany me to the Dark Forest. I'm sure we will find plenty of challenges within its depth. Hmm, by Rundra's sword, why not? It certainly sounds better than listening to this blathering innkeeper all day. Alright then, I shall join you. Good, let's go. Um, excuse me, if you are looking for a new challenge, um, Old Stone the Hunter has not visited the village for a while now. Uh, could you go to the Dark Forest and see if he's in good health? Um, no, no problem. Of course, I can do that too. So, um, here we have Rolana, who just joined our party. Um, 
and uh, here we can look at her equipment. Uh, she's not as well equipped as we are, but uh, she has bow and arrow, which we will tolerate for her attributes. Um, and uh, actually, she is not a bad warrior at all. Um, she might eventually become even better than us, but uh, that's something we won't tell Arik for now. She also has the mighty blow, and uh, she has the aimed shot, which is... I believe the mighty blow for... oh no, it's uh, reducing the enemy's armor rating because you hit an unarmored spot. Okay, uh, so she also is no magic user as you would expect. She has uh, no talent for blacksmithing, boya and uh, alchemy. And she had no money on her. <clears throat> Good choice.